Good morning, my lovely ones. How are you, loves? I hope everybody's well. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Welcome to your daily loves. May 14. Happy Friday. I hope everybody had a good, productive week and ready for the weekend. And for some of you, the weekend is not yet there for you. Let's see, loves, what we have for this day and how the energies are coming in, what we need to know at this time, and what are those blessings Spirit want to share with us. As you always know, the dailies are not affiliated with any specific zodiac. Whatever message comes through is shared at this time. We have Animal Guardian, trust your instincts. This is very, very strongly the, the High Priestess energy. And as you see here, this is the cover of the deck of this Angel and Ancestors, which very much speaks a lot of the energy. Mountain, stand your ground. This is very, very strong earthly energy. And fire guardian, ignite your passion. Groundness, it's everything here, what is inside you. Because you know, what is defined us is what is inside us, not what is outside. And underneath we have the drum, dream and journey. It's something here you have in your mind or you want to do. Ground yourself, trust yourself and go ahead. Because you know, it's kind of like water, earth and fire. And dream and journey, this is very, very strong Piscean energy here. Well, let's see here, loves. What do we got for the day? And how the spirit want to share at this time. And of course, how the tarot is connecting with the oracles. Whatever is there, always, always know who you are and never doubt yourself. Even, you know, there are others around you and, you know, it's telling you things. You know what is right and what is not. An overarching energy for this Friday. Ta-da! Tower. And you know the tower many times might be a scary energy, but I don't see it quite scary. There's something here that needs to happen and you like it, you don't. The tower comes when there's things which needs to end and be differently. Also, the tower very much speaks about clean up justice if it's a chaos into your life and needs balance the tower comes for the best you need balance for some of you there is something here that you you couldn't manage and i feel here over the sudden it's like well i know how i can do it there is a task for some of you it could be at work could be at home that you couldn't find an answer. And I feel here now is the time. We have Scorpionic energy and Libra energy right here. Let's see. Moon. Deep fears. Ten of wands. Nine of cups. Three of pentacles. Lovers. Gemini energy, nine of pentacles, 
six of cups it's like the all the ways of the things are not working anymore seven of swords and the queen of cups we have water energy here cancer scorpio pisces most likely uh, pisces and scorpio we have libra and gemini energy somebody has in their moon water sign or they are moon sign in their moon have water that's why we have the trust your instincts here do what is right for you do what you are calling to okay and the tower here you know it's happening at any time but you don't really know what when as we have the ten of wands right here very much speaks about I don't see it there is something here with this seven of swords here that underneath the justice we have the full like new energy here nine of cups nine of pentacles and there is choices there's something here that doesn't work for you or doesn't work as used to and doesn't work because somebody here does all the work and somebody here just benefit from it for some of you there is your relationship you are in you need to stand your ground which very much speaks about this nine of pentacles be in your energy being confident with your choices with your things because indeed here somebody here, here put a lot and the other just stay and sit and look at it and the full energy the next one we have six of wands there's something new you you choose at this time and i feel here again the tower and justice whatever was in balanced is crushing over and comes balanced to you based on your choices of newness or there's something here comes to you just like well just click something or i wake up and you know this is doesn't doesn't work i feel here as we have the lovers here is the choices here if you if you had a business here with somebody or you've been dealing for quite a while with somebody i feel here you go solo at this time if you had a job which was a teamwork you've done a lot here i feel here now you go just to have something which you do on your own let's clarify the seven of swords I feel here whoever put effort in the past doesn't put any more or it's like they feel like if if we know for such a long time you know is the comfort energy here and somebody here feels like you know I want a totally different thing that's not that work for me anymore seven of swords knight of swords Page of Wands and Ten of Cups. Underneath we have Ace of Cups. There's indeed here something new. And whatever here, somebody here is quite immature because we have immature energy. And feels like they they are not at the same page with you whatever situation you are I feel here you it's like if it's a relationship here you are in somebody here decide to to end this relationship because of different you know things like we grow differently 
one of you been very comfortable of the other putting a lot of effort the other one felt anything else but hey it's it's okay we are good and I feel here was not quite good ten of wands speak to me here please Chariot again, Cancerian water energy here. Knight of Cups, and Three of Swords, and underneath we have Eight of Pentacles. So, what I'm seeing here. Indeed, here somebody is doing too much and feels like I gotta go into something new because I put a lot of effort in whatever it is here. Queen of Cups. Devil, Four of Pentacles, and Death, Scorpionic Energy again. And Four of Cups, another four. So here we are, loves. Somebody here indeed will end a relationship or um, a partnership. Because it's feeling like I, I don't feel this works for us, but most likely it doesn't work for me. But somebody here will not agree with this. It's like they they feel like the the things are as were in the past, but things change a lot. Very superficial energy. And underneath we have five of wands. There is some arguments. There is a conflict here. For some of you, whatever decision you'll make. But somebody here feels like we've done everything and anything, but I, I don't... I don't feel this is for me anymore. I gotta go. I gotta move. And this is happening now. As we have the tower. Let's see here. What's the tower here for? Because what I'm saying here is somebody here decided that now is the time for me to be single. Somebody here is walking away, Eight of Cups, Magician, and Strength. And underneath we have Two of Swords. And that's the Stand Up Your Ground here. I've done being the one who is stronger. 
it's like I'm I'm speaking here with a water sign who might have fire in the chart and I did hear the tower is like we walk away I manifest something else I want something else what is that what is that page of cups seven of cups six of pentacles and the judgment And underneath seven of wands, this is stand off your ground energy here. And I feel here somebody here realized that this is not an equal give and take relationship. And somebody here indeed give very little for the amount the other one put. It's kind of this connection doesn't go where it needs to. And also, this could be a relationship here who have been for three years or for six years. It's, it's quite a long time. But could be also somebody here who we do know for quite a long time than we've been in a relationship but indeed here somebody doesn't really feel you know appreciated or feel like this is the time for me could live together here as well And somebody here realized that I am better off on my own than I am with you. So it's a big realization here. It's like there are two people here could be very, very different from each other. But as well, one of you could be, you know, chit-chatting with other people or, you know, engaging with other people. Not necessarily, you know, physical, but, you know, just flirting. There's another thing here that the way we speak, the meanings are quite different. As well, the effort we put is way different. Let's see here um, a resolution or a message what the spirit want to give it to you. King of Cups. Three of Cups, Four of Wands, and Two of Wands, and underneath Seven of Pentacles. What I'm seeing here, there is a decision here, but I feel here you you wait, or somebody here really waited till now to realize that I need to do this I need to go ahead with this and this is for me 
for some of you, you decided to do let go this person. And I feel here, as you let it go, this specific person, there is somebody here coming in, which very much looks like your person. It's like living a karmic for a soulmate, most likely. Because we have here three of cups, two of pentacles, three of swords. I believe the three of wands we need here, which is something here you always hoped. If you have this person, this karmic, and they never wanted to settle down or they were just okay to leave together and you want to get married or you want to buy a home or something like that and they never want it, I feel here the one who's coming towards you now is quite that person. And you might feel like, well, this is what I was looking always for. And also, the one who are to bring peace into your life. Because we have here four of wands, four of pentacles, four of cups. The one is missing its four of swords, which very much speaks about healing, taking time to see here. For some of you, you did take quite a long time to see what works for you, what doesn't work for you, who is good to you. It's more likely to know what you really want into your life and what you do not. And now with this nine of pentacles here, now you know, and you feel like I want somebody who matches my energy, not some, somebody who takes my energy. It's like I want a equal give and take, not somebody who just take, 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 and I'm just give, give, give. So that's the thing here. Also, you, you might realize that this connection you are in right now is not growing in that direction. So that's why you choose a different path. Somebody here needs to grow up. I feel here with this Six of Cups. Yes, you know them for quite a long time, but they didn't make too much effort to grow. And you were the one who put so much into the growth, into the movement, and they did really not. So yes, loves, that's sometimes what happens in relationships. We can be for a long time together, but we grow apart, or one of you grow quicker, other it's quite stagnant and if this is not, you know, point at the right time, the relationship goes, you know, tearing apart like the tower moment. And one of you goes on their own. Whatsoever, for some of you, you got to be prepared that this person might... be have here with quite an argument or you know they will say certain things you you might found that they are not quite what needs to be addressed but that's how they come forward and yeah that's what I have for you loves there's some decisions here to take. 
because for some of you you are with this person or you are feeling they are good as a friend not as a partner so you decide to make what is right for you not what's right for them and with that being said loves i feel here you know what is for and go forward love and light loves have an awesome weekend ahead and we'll see you next time many blessings namaste